Grace and peace. And some of you all on this page is for United Fellowship page. Y'all probably like, who is that guy? Well, I'm with the pastor, so it's okay for me to kind of get him on the page here. Uh, we just want to hop on live to do a few things, uh, to have a conversation. And I'm so proud to be with these two brothers in Christ. I am Pastor Ken Chambers of the Powerhouse Nashville. Uh, I can't introduce them, not because I don't know their names or anything. It's because they're so uh, magnanimous in the spirit. I'm going to let them uh, actually talk and introduce themselves because we have something special for you. And we want you to be a part, not just tonight on live, but on this coming Sunday on July the 12th, 5 p.m. We're doing a united drive-in service. We worship together a three for one and you want to be in the place. Now, before we begin the conversation, this is what you have to do. Sharing is caring. So we need some hearts. We need to go ahead and share. Go ahead and hit the share button. If you can, if you will, please do me a favor. Go ahead and start those watch parties. Let your friends know that we're on live. Let your enemies know we're on live. Let everyone know we're on live. Your mom and them, your cousin and them, everyone. Let them know we're on live because it's going to be an awesome time in the Lord. Oh, pa Pastor, Pastor Quentin. <laughs> I think he's done this before. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I figured out something really quick. Um, United Family Fellowship, we just voted a new pastor tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pastor Ken Chambers, listen, we are here tonight. We are all together. Surprise. So we put it out that it was two for one. Um, but the Holy Spirit said, um, listen, it's got to be the Trinity. God, the Son, and the Holy, the Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. And so that being said, we are coming together. Like my brother said, Pastor Ken Chambers, we're coming together. Three churches, one service one message, one worship team, and most importantly, one purpose, to glorify the name of Jesus and to win souls. Y'all know who I am. I think y'all do after that introduction. I don't even know. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, um, we're so grateful. Not only is Pastor Chambers here, but we have none other than my friend, my brother, UFF. Y'all know who he is. Jason, Pastor Jason. We are at his church. So we're in his office. He's making us look real smart tonight. So. <laughs> So, you know, if I can't preach, I'm going to spend a couple of hours in this office and hopefully I can grab a sermon uh, and give my little Easter speech. Pastor Jason, <laughs> I'm going to greet the people, man. Yeah, my name is Jason. I'm the custodian for United States. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pastor at Home Church and I'm, I'm excited to be with these guys. Um, oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's good to be I wish I could say I read all these books, but they do make me look smart, and I, I need that. So um, we are excited about Sunday night, 5 o'clock, um, and I'm just excited about getting to hang out with these guys. And, Most definitely. Um, good friends and brothers in Christ. Yeah, and yeah. They are going to preach circles around me, I'll just tell you. I'm, but <laughs> I, I'm glad to, to share a stage. And, um share the name of Jesus with them. So. Awesome. I just want to make sure you all know where we're going to be this Sunday, 3511 Gallatin Pike, right here in the great city of Nashville, Tennessee, or like I've renamed it, Praiseville, Tennessee, right? So I know people, because you know this man is famous, I know people all over around the country are watching this page right now. So some of you are like, wow, I'm not in Nashville. But if you want to come to Nashville, it's okay. Wear your mask, come on down to Nashville and come worship with us. But we will have it available on all of our social media platforms. So you yes. can watch and worship from home. But if you want the drive-in experience, just go get in your car, wherever city you're in. If you're in Alaska, if you're in California, you're in Florida, wherever you are, if you're in Minnesota, hop in your car, put us on the TV, put us on your phone, and worship with us outside because we want you to be in the place and your presence is needed. But if you're in the Nashville area, I need to see you, 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 and yeah, you too. I need to see every one of you here. I won't see your face because you will have a mask on, trust and believe. You're going to have a mask on, but I want to see your eyes, and I want to see your hands up worshiping the Lord. Listen, um, if y'all already heard it, we want to dive into something tonight. We didn't put no flyer out. We didn't uh, do no promo or anything like that. We just popped up, and here we are. We thank God for your uh, attention uh, on this evening. But, you know, we joke, we laugh, we have a good time. We're brothers in the Lord. No competition. It's nothing but love, fun, and uh, some good preaching. So, uh, with that being said, uh, United Family Fellowship, um, Powerhouse, Home Church, I think we can all say together, 
that we love each and every one of you all. But listen, there's so much going on in the world. In Nashville, we got hit with a tornado. I believe it was March 2nd. Yeah, yeah. Yep, March 2nd. Uh, and then we turn around after that, after the tornado, the pandemic hit. Then after the pandemic, uh, there was a high wind storm that tore up some more stuff in Nashville. So Nashville got hit three times. And then the totality of this country right now, it's been hit for a long time in terms of uh, the black lives not mattering for a long time, unfortunately. Um, to be real, God has called us to come together. Not just this one time, but I really believe um, that this is really just going to be the start of something brand new. Uh, it's something that Pastor Jason and I have been talking about. And then they say the best for last. Pastor Ken Chamber came on uh, like the OG that he is, yes. if I will. And and listen, with that being said, y'all know that Ahmaud Arbery was shot dead in Georgia. And then we turn around after February. We turn around a few months later. We had George Floyd who yelled and called out his mother and said, I cannot breathe. And with that being said, you know, um, it's always been my intention and really from just the down, really just my whole life to worship together like this. And so I, I'll be honest with you, uh, with everything going on in the country, we as leaders, we as pastors and three church planters, I think we we be able to yeah. really say that, three church planters are sitting on one couch right now in Nashville, none of us being from here, we all have a diverse background, but one thing we do know is we all love Jesus, and we're coming together not for um, form or fashion, just have a good time. We're coming together with a purpose to show God that we're serious about every life. We're serious about, about black lives. We're serious about building God's kingdom, and the truth of the matter is we can do a lot more together. So with that being said, you know, I believe this worship service on Sunday is going to bless, um, we're in East Nashville, but it's going to bless not just East Nashville, but the totality of Nashville, and I believe this church is uh, all along. Um, so, I mean, oh, yeah. I, I just think it's really important what we're doing, honestly, you know. Yeah, I believe it's going to be not just for Nashville, but even with us putting this on social media, this is going to be a model, not just for this city, but a model for the world. How we can come together, three men, three different worship styles, three different leadership styles, three different backgrounds, and we've all come together, and it's all love. And you know what? It's about one thing, understanding. Understanding that uh, we love Jesus, we love God, we serve him, but we can do it together. We are better together. Yeah. And I love biblical math. You know, in, in, in our math, one plus one equals two. And that's what they try to do, just them two. <laughs> right? But the Bible says one can chase a thousand. Yeah. Two can put ten thousand. Well, hold on, hold on. Well, what can three do? They say, well, the Bible says we're two or three are gathered. Uh, there you go. So we had two. Two. Then we got three. Got the three. <laughs> and guess what's going to happen? God's going to be in the midst uh, because we have gathered together. We are better together. Now, you can do a lot of things by yourself, but it's no fun that way. Hey, when God created man, he said it's not good for man to be alone. So he gave him a help me. So that's what we're doing. We've come together to help one another, to be friendship, to be in fellowship, uh, the word koinonia. And also, yes, it's all about lifting up the name of Jesus. And the Bible declares that if we lift up his name, it's his job to draw all men unto himself. And we're doing this for the glory of God. And we want to draw all men into the kingdom. Yeah, the thing about the church, church we're all church plants. So yeah. we're combined age like five years old or something. You know, yeah. we're in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> but what that also means is we're just getting started. Oh, this, yes. this is, this is the first of um, hopefully lots of opportunities to minister together, to worship together, to serve the city together, and glorify the name of Jesus together. But um, I appreciate y'all letting me be a part of this. And I, I As we're sitting in office. Is. Right. <laughs> well, it, it's. Um, it, it's always an honor to get to be a part of what God's doing in small ways and big ways. But but I believe this is this is really important, and um, I think we have no idea what God will do through this. But. You know, I, I really believe that the enemy is scared right now uh, because this is the first time in Nashville where it is that. 
different churches and ethnicities came together in such a way like this. Not on a Sunday morning, but on a Sunday night. And what I love about this is if something is going to happen on Sunday, it's going to be changed, it's going to be broken, and there's going to be really people released in the spirit. Because, I mean, with everything going on in America, you know, everything going on with the social justice movement, all that kind of stuff, people don't know what to feel. They don't have a clue what to feel right now. But I believe without a shadow of a doubt that God is getting ready to be shined upon. Now, it's, it's, it's expecting rain, but we're believing by faith that the rain is going to move out on Sunday. Because I believe that we need to worship together without a shadow of a doubt. It doesn't matter if you're Hispanic, Latino, Native American, Asian, white, black. It doesn't matter. Listen, when we get to heaven, it's going to be one. It's just going to be one. Yeah. We're going to be worshiping together. You know, we're going to just be crying out the name of Jesus. So listen, I just pray um, that you will come, that you will invite people, get your lawn chairs, um, get your snacks, get your water, bring your ice cream, whatever it may be. Bring me ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and just throw it at us. We're social distancing. But uh, just don't throw it too hard, you know, like our sermon. But, uh, <laughs> but seriously, this is going to be a time um, really for restoration so I think Nashville, that we are um, we're on to something great, and uh, yeah. just thank thank y'all for letting me be a part. Seriously, these these guys are so humble. No, I need to be thanking. I'm the I'm the oldest, but I'm the baby in the group actually. Uh, so they they brought me in at the last minute to help me out, and I really appreciate it. So I'm humbled just to be in the presence of these great men of God. So. Uh, I love what you said about, you know, it doesn't matter what race or background you come from. Uh, and when we get to heaven, we're all going to be worshiping. But I believe, we just came from Pentecost Sunday not too long ago. Yeah. And, and and he said, I'm pouring out my spirit upon not white flesh, not black lives matter flesh. He said, upon all flesh. So when he did that, when he did that work, he said, you know what? I am ending racism. doesn't matter what race you come from. And I'm not going to go into the scripture and preach anything, but he even broke down gender barriers. He broke down age barriers. He broke down every barrier on the day of Pentecost. So if he did that on the first day of Pentecost, we have to be the examples of that right now. And that's what God has done with us. Yeah. And we're going to be the models and examples, and we want you to be a part of it. Don't miss it. Yeah, right before Pentecost, in chapter 1 of Acts, the last thing Jesus says to the church is wait for the Spirit. And then when you receive power, like the powerhouse, when you receive power from the Holy Spirit, then go to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and, and then ultimately to the ends of the earth. Yes. And we're, I just had this revelation in the last few weeks. I'm a result of that. Like sometimes I, I read myself into the apostles and like I was part of it in the beginning. I wasn't. <laughs> I heard about the name of Jesus because those people told people who told people who told people who told people who told people. Yeah. Who told people. And, and and now we get to tell people. And, and, and we get to tell people every race, every nation, and and in Pentecost, every language. Like the, the Spirit broke down even language barriers. Um, and so we want to see walls come down. We want to see barriers between people come down. And um, we believe that is the work of God. That's not something that these three guys can do. Um, but, but us three and, and y'all, and most importantly, the power of God, um, God can do a lot. Yeah. So. You know, you know, when we're thinking about worshiping, thinking about praising. What I love is our worship teams are worshiping together right now. It's the second night. They're sounding amazing. And what I love about this is everybody's coming together out there in uh, the sanctuary and they're worshiping, uh, worshiping and rehearsing together for Sunday. What I absolutely love is it's one sound. I mean, it's no big eyes, no small U's. I mean, the musicians are together from all the churches. And, you know, just to see the excitement on their face. Yeah. You know, it almost makes me feel as if, like, once we step out of this world, everything's going crazy. But like we walked in, they walked into the temple, and it felt like everything that's been removed, negative. And you can feel the presence yes. of God in there, you yes. know? Immediately. Yeah. yeah. I mean, God is just doing something amazing with this whole worship together piece. And I'm just praying, without a shadow of doubt, that America 
will see that we are, yes, better together. We can do a lot more together. And I'm praying without a shadow of a doubt that churches and pastors will come together. Pastor Jason and I, were, we were talking, we were studying earlier, we were going through some scripture, and uh, well, he was teaching me, and, you know, but, you know, but uh, you see all these books around me, but, uh, but no, seriously, we were going through some scripture, and uh, one of the things that we were seeing in uh, the text was people just came together for one purpose. Just one purpose, y'all. And I'm just praying that uh, from this point on, that we can remove so much negativity from um, our worship experience and make everything just positive and just move forward. People need to know the name of Jesus right now. So guys, oh yeah, uh, man, I, I, I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. Uh, but seriously, but um, because you know, I'll, I'll be real with you. Even sitting right here right now, I just feel the presence of God just sitting in here, honestly. And this has been, y'all don't know, this has been a dream of mine to come together with different churches. That's good. And I mean, I actually, I mean, the presence of God is even here with us now. Uh, and I, I, what I love about God is we don't have to be all charismatic and a, but the presence the the weight of God is in this room and I know you feel it at home and I, I'm hearing God say for those who you know you may didn't consider coming but guess what you want to make sure that you are here and come expecting a move of God God is going to move like never before in this service yeah. and for those you're not in the natural area you say man I want to be there I want to experience that don't worry it's going to come through your device like never before you're going to feel something you've never felt especially during this time that we talked about uh, the, the different disasters in Nashville and, and now with, you know, we're fighting this, this, this pandemic, this racial epidemic. But God says for those who are going to sacrifice your time to come and just worship me during this time that I'm going to give you promotion even in this pandemic. I'm going to give you and show you that my promises are bigger than the pandemic. If you come to this service, if you watch this service, if you support this service and you lift up your hands and you call on the name of Jesus with us to show the example of what it's like to be in a community of fellowship, God says, I'm going to move on your house like never before. You will see and feel my hand like never before. God is going to do it for us because we have decided we have made the choice to live in freedom. And what is freedom? The freedom is basically doing not what is popular, but coming together and doing what's right. So I'm, I'm feeling good, and and I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait to the Sunday. I'm not gonna. I wish right now was Sunday. That's just how I feel. I wish I can just have you know speed up time, and it's five o'clock on Sunday, and you all are on your way here. And for us, I'm just ready to worship right now. So I can't wait to see all of you all this coming Sunday. Man, I'm just done. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to hold back tears right now. <laughs> I'm trying to cry, baby, out of the bunch. So, and, um, if you read on in the Book of Acts, the we hear the words of Jesus go to all these places, but like six chapters in, they're still in Jerusalem, and um, it, it was it, it says that they're the church started being persecuted. They they were suffering, <laughs> and because of that, they went to. Judea and yeah. Samaria and to the ends of the earth and we're at this place and, and in this time that I mean maybe the world has experienced something like it but not in my lifetime yeah. um, and, and I, I thought when when we closed the doors to the church on Sundays it was going to last two weeks and we're months later and, and still here so God uses bad things to do good things and so I, I, I hate the virus. Like, I, I hate yeah. the racism that's going on. I, I hate the things that God hates. But God uses bad things. And God um, takes the works of the enemy and steps on them. Mm -hmm. and, and so we, we are standing against racism. We are, are, are standing against um, the fear and the depression that so many people are experiencing right now. And we are asking God to move in the middle of it. Because yeah. he can do that. He's yeah. done that. He, he's healed people. He's yeah. delivered people. He, he's raised the dead. He's yes. taken dead hearts and, and made them new. And we believe God can do that. And I, I've heard before that 
that God comes where he's least expected, but I actually think God comes where he's most expected. So I want to look at Sunday and just be waiting for what God's going to do because I, I don't think my mind can no. No. You know, comprehend all that God wants to do in, in any of our lives, much less yes. this thing together. Yeah. So yeah. come, Holy Spirit. Yes, come. you are welcome. Y'all, I, I think right now, can we just pray? Oh, yeah, most definitely. And we got three pastors here. Uh, I mean, the Holy Spirit has told me to pray right now. We can all just, just take a piece um, uh, of prayer on this evening for our country, for our leaders, our pastors, because pastors are frontline workers, too, and, and the ministry leaders at every church, yeah. uh, powerhouse, whole church, United Family Fellowship, the executive boards, and as well, just uh, this worship service on Sunday, that people's lives will be saved, and God, that you will provide protection as well. So, can we just can we just pray real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just want to yeah. say uh, and, and pray for all of those who are just dealing with depression and anxiety. The Bible says, "Be anxious for nothing." And we're praying for you as well. So, Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, we first thank you. We honor you for being God. We honor you for being sovereign. For the word declares that your loving kindness is better than our life itself. For that, God, we give you worship, we yes. give you praise, and we give you adoration. Now, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you now yes, that we have a mind to serve you. But we pray for my brothers and my sisters that are watching. We pray for those across this land. We pray for our leadership of this country. We pray for our local leadership, God, that you give them, God, the direction for us, God, in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. We pray for leaders everywhere, leaders in industry, leaders in, 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 in movies, leaders in entertainment, leaders in, in the workplace, God, entrepreneurs right now, God. We pray for them, that you give them strategies, that you give them witty inventions, God, okay. that you to give them all that they need, God, because we decree and declare that everything that we need is already in our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that you ease minds, God, that you dis-ease, God, that you dis it and eradicate it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that you cover and give us peace in our minds, God, peace in our homes, God, peace in our bodies, God, and we're looking for not just restoration, but total healing, healing from every schism, every illness, every sin, God, everything that will beset us, Father God, so that we can get everything out of the way and just simply worship you. It is in Jesus' name I pray, amen. God, we thank you right now yes, in the name of Jesus, just for your son, Jesus, God. We thank you for your son that you simply gave to us and wiped away our sins. And so, God, we say right now, before Sunday, we thank you for the souls that will be won. And God, I thank you for my brothers who are here on this evening, who have been working tirelessly through this pandemic, and as well preparing for Sunday, God. God, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you will bring us and strengthen us, strengthen their families, strengthen their churches in the name of God right now. God, strengthen, God, their friendships right now, God. I ask you right now just for revelation of scripture, God, that we can live it out and be an example for your community, for our churches, for our country, God, but most importantly, for you. So even right now, God, I don't even come asking for anything, God. Right now, in this very moment, I just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for individuals that are able to hear, have mature conversation and dialogue. Individuals that are able to pray and listen to each other, God. God, I thank you right now for Pastor Jason, Pastor Ken, God. I thank you, God, for the anointing that is on their lives as well. Thank you for the anointing on their congregation. I thank you for the anointing on the United Family Fellowship as well, God. So God, we just praise you right now for every moving part that is working together to bring unity in the community right now in the name of Jesus, God. And God, we just give you glory in advance for the positive, positive, great and wonderful day it's going to be in Jesus' name. I do pray. Amen. Amen. God, your word says that your ministry is reconciliation. And so we ask that you use us in yes. that. God, the, the people in this room and the people watching this, listening to it, we offer our lives um, to you to, to work 
to restore relationships, to bind broken hearts, to, to bring people together where they've been apart. We, we found so many reasons to be divided, God, in, in our nation and, and world. And we pray that um, your spirit, your, your presence would unite us ways that we can't do ourselves and so we invite you into that god if there are pla places in our hearts and minds that that um we need understanding we need repentance we um just any spirit of comparison yes, or, or anything like that god we want to be wholly yours and, and we want to be like you jesus and so uh, we pray that um repentance would start with us that um seeking your faith would start with us that serving one another that um, washing each other's feet god that would start with us um, and, and you would do everything that you want to do that, that we would not hinder anything that your spirit wants to do god we want to be all yours and all about you and so we pray this in the name of the father son and holy spirit amen, amen. so awesome thank y'all for being with us yeah um, we'll see you sunday this sunday 5 p.m central standard time 35 11 gallison park can't wait to see you it's going to be a mighty move of god